What's up, YouTube? Ellis Entertainment Outdoors back at you again with another video. Uh, today it's Sunday, the 27th day of February. Uh, they start stocking trout today, actually, on the Teleco and Cedico River. Uh, they've been stocking other places earlier, but uh, this video here, I'm going to show y'all what I use for trout fishing, my little setup, and uh, everything else. But uh, first off, if you don't have your hunting fishing fishing license for Tennessee, they expire tomorrow, February 28th. Um, and I encourage everybody to go out and buy themselves and their kids and loved ones fishing and hunting license, get them in the outdoors and let them experience the things that nature has to offer that God's blessed us with. Um, but like I said, I'll show you all my setup and also I'm gonna show you my hat. When you purchase your hunting or fishing license here in Tennessee, you got a couple options to buy some like souvenir things. I purchased this hat, this hat, which is I think it was twenty dollars. It goes towards uh, wildlife conservation. Um, it's kind of like a program that TWRA does to help stock trout, to manage wildlife, things of that nature. Uh, also, you can do hunters for the hungry, which is whenever you kill a deer, whatever it may be, you can get it processed and donate that to families in need that's hungry and struggling. So that's also a good thing to do. But let me hop in here and show you. I'm not sponsored by any of these things that I'm using. This is just what I use. I'm gonna show y'all what I use. Uh, and I will be taking off work Tuesday to go trout fishing on opening day. And I'll be bringing y'all a trout fishing video every weekend after that. So, let me hop up and I'll show you all this stuff. First of all, I want to show you my hat here, if I can get it in focus. It is just a camo hat with the uh, Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency uh, badge on it in leather. It's got a coon and I believe it's a bass. I can't tell. I believe it's a bass there. It's got the strap here on the back. But yeah, that's that. So please help out TWRA, buy your hat or whatever it may be. Um, sorry if there's kids in the background. My kids is playing before school and stuff on. But the first thing I want to show y'all is the bait I use. It's Power Bait Power Eggs here. <clears throat> I don't know how good the camera works being or whatever, but I use white and I also use orange. That's my two go-to colors. So when I trout fish, this is all that I carry. I carry uh, my power bait in one thing, and I got some hooks and sinkers in here. Uh, number six, eagle claw hooks, or number eight, eagle claw hooks, with number four, I believe, sinkers, and some smaller sinkers. But I carry this, it's just an old power bait thing that's empty. I put my hooks and sinkers in it, and then I mix my power bait in one container let me show you. That way y'all can see. But I mix it in one container here. So I carry this container with my orange and white in it. Sometimes I have yellow. That way I got a variety if they're not hitting that. If they're not hitting this, I'll use spinners. But this, these two things right here is all I carry. My power bait, my hooks and sinkers. That's all I carry when I'm trout fishing. Um, trout fishing is my favorite kind of fishing. You don't have to carry a bunch of tackle and lures and things around. Uh, and also love to eat trout. So I'm gonna show y'all my pole here I'm using. And I'm not sponsored by Power Bait or any of these people, which would be nice if I was. But the first thing I'm using, it's a Zebco Hot Cast. It's a medium action rod. I think it's five foot and a couple inches. You can buy this at probably any local Walmart. That's where I got mine. It's five bucks. Perfect little poles. Uh, really, it's the only poles that I use for any kind of fishing, unless I'm going like striper fishing or something like that. But these are awesome little poles for five bucks. Medium action. Um, here's my number six. Eagle Claw straight shank hook. Um, and I put 
one, number six, or number four, I believe. Yeah, number four sinker. I don't know, maybe a foot above it, uh, give or take. Uh, the reel I'm using, it's a Abu Garcia Cardinal, let's see, SX30. It's a pretty good reel. It's one I've used for years. Uh, I like it pretty well. And I just wanted to show you all my setup on what I use. Um, sorry. I just wanted to show you all my setup and the things that I use. Like I say, power bait is usually pretty good for catching stock trout. Uh, now, if I'm having a hard day, I'll definitely uh, switch to spinners or rooster tail. Um, and on days after they've been fished and people use power bait and whatever else, excuse me, uh, spinners are a better option in my opinion. But I just wanted to show y'all my little setup. Today is Sunday. I'll be taking off work Tuesday if they'll approve my vacation, which I hope they will, by the way. And uh, I'll be getting y'all some trout fishing footage. And then every weekend after that, I go every every chance I can. Uh, please support your local outdoors, whether it be TWRA, whatever the other states are called. Um, just support it because we don't know how much longer we'll have that. And it's it's a gift from the good Lord above and it's a gift to be able to go enjoy the outdoors and your family and things, uh, be able to teach them and take them how to catch food for yourself. And, or if you're just sport fishing, that's fine too. But I do it because I love it and because I like to eat them. I love to eat them. So yeah, um, that's my setup, power bait. An old thing of power bait with some hooks and sinkers. That's all I carry when I trout fish. Like I'll take my tackle box, of course, and leave it in the truck or whatever, but that's all I use. So I just want to show you all my setup that I use and uh, hopefully it's informational. Maybe y'all can use it, try it out and see if y'all like it. If not, find what works for you. Y'all have a blessed day and remember, please like, share, and subscribe.